Welcome back to my kitchen. It is a beautiful spring day outside, so we're gonna make a beautiful spring dessert to go with it. I'm gonna show you how to make my rhubarb upside down cake. It's an amalgamation between two different cakes and dessert person by Claire Saffitz. Super simple to put together, so let's go ahead and get started. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Next, prep a nine inch cake pan by lightly greasing with butter and lining with a round of parchment paper. In a small bowl, whisk together a third a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of orange juice, and some vanilla bean paste. The vanilla bean paste is totally optional, but adds a nice visual effect to the top of the cake. Wash and dry one pound of rhubarb before cutting into one inch pieces. I cut the rhubarb on a diagonal so I could arrange it into a chevron pattern. Pour the sugar mixture into the cake pan and arrange the rhubarb on top. Set the pan aside. In a stand mixer fitted with the paddle attachment, cream together eight tablespoons of softened butter, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and a half a cup of granulated sugar. While the butter and sugar cream, combine the almond flour, all-purpose flour, salt, cardamom, and leaveners in a large bowl. The cardamom gives this cake such a nice flavor. When the butter and sugar are light and fluffy, add the eggs one at a time, mixing till combined, and scraping is needed. After the eggs have combined, add a teaspoon of vanilla. Combine the dry ingredients with the wet in three increments, alternating each addition with room temperature buttermilk. Pour the cake batter into the prepared pan, smoothing with an offset spatula. Give the pan a few taps on the counter to help the batter settle between the rhubarb. Bake for 40 minutes or until set and very golden brown on top. Allow to cool for 15 minutes before carefully flipping onto a cooling rack and removing the parchment paper.
and voila, rhubarb upside down cake. This turned out perfectly. The pattern is so beautiful, it's going to impress anyone that you serve it to. I'm gonna go ahead and take a taste. Mmm. The rhubarb is so tart and delicate, and the cardamom flavor really comes through. I've linked the recipe below, because you're definitely gonna wanna make this. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe for a new video every Sunday. I'll see you in the next one.